We treat 1 billion litres of wastewater every day and from this process create 150,000 tonnes of dried sludge, much of which is transformed into green electricity by anaerobic digestion. At our advanced thermal conversion gasification plant in Huddersfield, we've developed a world-first gasification technology in the water sector that complements anaerobic digestion as a way to create energy from sludge. Since 2014, the ATC plant has helped us meet our 12% renewable energy target. And we're now exploring exciting ways this innovative technology can be commercialised to deliver value to our customers. The plant you see behind me is the culmination of 10 years' work with a series of specialist partners. This commercial scale demonstration plant has now operated for over 10,000 hours and has generated over 3.2 gigawatt hours of electricity. That's enough to power the sewage works next door or to power 1,600 homes a year. We started this project back in 2007. At the time, Yorkshire Water was incinerating 50% of its sludge. 50% was going to anaerobic digestion, which is a fantastic, sound, solid, known technology. The key technology at the heart of this process is a gasifier. This is delivered to us by our technical partners, Enatech Green. What excites me most about this technology is its ability to generate four times the amount of renewable electricity that our current technology choice, anaerobic digestion, does. The consequence of that is that it would drive down significantly our carbon emissions, which we are constantly trying to do as a business. So considering that we spend over £50 million a year on electricity, and in doing so emit over 300,000 tonnes of carbon a year, this technology could contribute significantly to making us a more resilient business, a more environmentally sustainable business, also helping to keep our costs down. Importantly, because of its efficiency, it helps to inform deregulation of the sludge market post-2020, so we have a compelling reason, a burning platform to change and do things differently. So what we've delivered here through the R&D programme is a very exciting technology. It's an option that delivers resilience, cost-effective renewable electricity, keeping prices down, and something that can be developed and grown in the future, which runs very much in parallel with our existing technology base. So the process isn't that complex, but let me show you how it works. Sludge from the wastewater treatment works is brought into the adjoining ATC plant as a cake at around 22% dry solids. It is fed into a low temperature STC dryer, which is supplied by Suez, where it is dried on a belt at a temperature of 70 to 80 degrees and then formed into pellets. The pellets are then mixed with pelletised wood in a proportion of 30% sludge and 70% wood. The aim is to create a fuel for the gasifier, which is as uniform as possible. However, the proportions can be changed if required, with up to 50% sludge content possible. The pellets enter the gasifier, where they are kept moving continuously through the unit with hot air meeting the fuel. The temperature is kept carefully controlled, and unlike other gasifier models, there is no grate which can become clogged. Hydrocarbons in the fuel are converted into hydrogen and carbon. This produces a syngas, which is around 20% hydrogen, 20% carbon monoxide, and about 2% methane. This is fed into two Yenbacker CHP engines, which create electricity and heat. The heat is conveyed back to the sludge dryer, where it helps earlier in the process. The electricity is taken to a grid connection on a, or a private wire connection. The process also produces char, which is largely carbon and the sludge ash. This material can be used as a coal substitute and Yorkshire Water have identified possible uses for this. Research is also underway to discover if the carbon can be activated for use elsewhere in the wastewater treatment process. So now you've seen the process, you can see it's clever but not that complicated. It's scalable, it's modular in design so it can fit small rural applications right the way through to large industrial opportunities.